so friends in this video i gonna start from where we left off in our previous video okay so you can see that we have this simple list items here each of these lists contain individual links which are portfolio contact services about us okay and so far we have used some basic styles to style our navigation items so let me show you where we are now you can see that we left in our previous video here and now we will com continue from here i gonna include sub menu for this portfolio and services tab ok so minimize this jump into our text editor and html file direct after this anchor tag in portfolio uh, hit enter and, and here i gonna paste some markup here that i have already written and you can see that I have this unordered list. This is very simple unordered list which contains several links web designing, web development, UI designing, backend and front end development. Okay. So let's see how it is looking in our browser. Okay. Let's include that for our services tab also. Just paste it here. And if you want, you can change this text here, link text here okay so you can let's change it to development first and design this is kind of time saving technique that i used uh, so let me show it in our browser here hit refresh now you can see that we have included the sub menu for our portfolio let's minimize it jump into our css file and here we're gonna style those sub menus too. So how we can target that sub menu? Well, we can write nav list class, which is this class up here, and we'll look for this ul inside this nav list class. So we can simply write nav list after ul, and inside this we're gonna write position absolute first, okay, and then. I gonna write z index property because it is important to show on the top of other elements okay so I gonna give it highest z index property and let's give it a background color of white so I can write this fff and let's give it a line height of about 2 rem now let's see its preview in our browser hit refresh yeah, here we go you can see that now our sub menus are properly positioned okay now we're gonna go ahead and hide this sub menu initially so we can do that by just writing our left property to 9999 picks which is highest negative offset this offset will hide our navigation sub menu uh, by sending it outside from our browser viewport to the left okay now let's go ahead and write some styles for our anchor element inside the this nav list uh, sub menu so we can do that by writing nav list and then we'll look for a ul element which is the sub menu itself and then we'll target all the anchor elements of sub menu so we can do that uh, we can write here some basic style for example i gonna set its font weight property to uh, normal okay and let's give it a display property of block and let's set its padding 0.5 ram from top and bottom and 1 ram from left and right now basically what we have done here is that we have set our um, sub menu position to absolute and bring it to all the way back to top and then set its background color to white and then we have initially make it hidden by sending it outside of the viewport by setting its left property to minus 999 pixels and, and then we um, selected our anchor elements of sub menu and set their font weight property to normal and displayed them as a block 
and also we had set them a padding of 0.5 m from top and bottom and 1 m from left and right okay so initially it is hidden now let's reveal that sub menu when someone hover over that menu icon first let's hit refresh now you can see that those sub menus are hidden uh, to reveal them we are gonna go ahead into our CSS file and here I gonna write <clears throat> some style here so I'll write nav list class and then I'll look for the li element inside that and when I hover over those li element I want to reveal the sub menu which is direct after this anchor element so I can use this combinator selector to reveal that and here I gonna write left 0 ok and give it a top of 100% ok now let's go ahead in browser hit refresh hover over this now you can see that sub menu is revealed when you hover over the items ok now let's jump into our text editor again and this time we are gonna write styles for our <coughs> logo to hide when it reaches to certain point ok and now let's jump into our text editor again and here I gonna go ahead into my HTML file and I am going to write some code that contains the logo for our mobile devices ok so I am going to my snippet here and just copy this text from here and paste it here now you can see that it has a class div element and class of mobile displays applied to it and it has also an h2 element which is class of site title and inside that we have an anchor element which contains the image or logo image so what we want to do initially when you refresh here you can see that there is a image logo has been displayed so initially we want to hide this logo to hide that we, going, we are going to use CSS so let's jump into our CSS file and here I gonna write mobile display hyphen display and set its display property to none so that it is initially hidden oh yeah I made a mistake here so I'll write display okay and now go ahead and hit refresh now you can see that that logo has been initially hidden now we want to reveal that logo when we hit a breakpoint of 540 pixels and at the same time I'll hide this uh, logo here and display that one ok so let's jump into our text editor and write some media queries here for our first device so I gonna write here add media only screen and max width of about 58.75 RAM which is equal to 940 pixels ok I have already calculated that value so let's write HTML and give it a base font size of now give it a base font size of 13 pixels and let's give a body a width of 80 percent and this time we want to hide our logo so this logo here uh, this one here sorry I have said that we are going to reveal this one on 540 pixels but we want to reveal that on about 940 pixels ok so I gonna write here has logo and we are going to completely hide this element we don't require this element now we will be using this element 
for to display our logo so let's hide that, that one by setting its display property to none and let's bring this logo by setting its mobile display property to block and also set its margin property to zero auto so that it centers horizontally okay let me show you where we are in this stage so let me show you where we are in this stage hit refresh and now resize this up to 940 pixels you can see that value by pressing f12 by pressing f12 you can directly jump into debugging mode okay so that now when you resize the browser you can see that value has been displayed here which is right now we are at 811 38 pixels 844 pixels 856 and about let's about 940 let's break about 940 pixels here and you can see that this logo has been hidden now and the logo that is displaying here is that one okay and this one is set to hidden okay we want to make it into center so we could write that text line center okay so this will center our this image okay now resize and about eight five forty pixels we are going to change this navigation menu again and we are going to high uh, we are going to include our hamburger icon and change this navigation style completely okay